Okay, so hey, we, I just wanted to do a quick update on our journey to our competition. We had talked about that a while back and we're all still working out really hard. We still have five, six days where we have to actually lift, working out all the different muscle groups in the body. Each of us has one hour a day of cardio at this point that we have to do. Our meals change a little bit, but mostly we're still, we're just, she's, our trainer is decreasing our carbs a lot. So we're just eating a lot of vegetables and protein and that sort of thing. And uh, for me personally, I can say some weeks are better than others. I was very, very tired this week, like exhausted, tired. I'm not really sure if it's mental or if it's just physical. But anyway, so I struggled a little bit this week, but sticking with it, I'm down about 10 pounds since we started this journey to competition. But I've also gained some muscle, so I know that I, you know, my body has shaped and changed quite a bit for me. I have a competition coming up the second week in December. She has set the date for mine, and I'll give an update on that. JR, you go ahead and talk a little bit about your journey. Well, I mean, I've been tired a lot of the weeks, but that's also because I just don't sleep that much. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's been going well for me. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm looking kind of slim now. I'm down 30 pounds. Yeah, I know, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's just been good. It's been really good. Yeah. Feeling stronger, gaining back some of the muscle I had when I was in school. Do you ever yeah. feel like you want to give up or absolutely Oh, not? every day when I see them at lunch, but other than that, no, it's fine. <laughs> there, I'm kidding, of course. It's not that bad. It's uh, once you get in the groove of it, you know, you get in the groove. There's meals you want to eat. Like last night, one of my friends posted those that big old Parmesan wheel, and he was getting pasta in it. And I was thinking, dang, that'd be really nice. I could just quit right now, drive down the street, and pick that up. But I didn't because I want results and you want to just reach that goal you just don't want yeah to stop exactly until. it really goal. is hard once you've determined in your head that you're gonna do it to not do it I mean it really there's a psychological thing in there where you say to yourself I'm gonna do this I'm just not gonna stop yeah so anyway Kylie talk a little bit about your journey so far how much weight you're down and that's how much cardio you're doing and that sort of thing um well, I think I have the most cardio right now. I do an hour and 10 minutes of cardio every day, and I'm down 15 pounds um, since we started training. Um, I would say this week has also been the hardest week for me. It's definitely like, and because I don't have a specific um, date or any time period to look to, I kind of looking at January, but it gets harder not knowing for sure. But I know ultimately it's going to be worth it in the end and I'm still going and it's good like I'm enjoying it and I'm seeing the progress every day. And it's amazing too because I just want to applaud them because there's two ways you can do this. You can get to this point where it starts getting really hard and you don't really see an end in sight. Their, their competition hasn't been scheduled yet and you can just say to yourself, oh well I look so much better I could just stop. But that's not where they're at. They both are just like, no, I'm doing this. I'm going to the end. I'm not stopping. And that's another, that's another, it goes one way or the other. Some people just get in this place where you're like, no, I've gone this far. I am not stopping. And I tell you, if you set a goal for yourself and you keep going until you achieve that goal, it's going to change something in you. It's going to change something physically, emotionally, spiritually that will just grow a new piece inside of you so that you, there's nothing you can't do. So I encourage you, find that thing that you're gonna do. This thing for us isn't just about how we look, it's so much more than that. Find your thing and do it. And hey, if you like what you, you know, watching us on this journey or some of my videos, please go ahead and subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you wanna read a really good book on how you can get healthy, go to christyfitness.com forward slash K-I-S-S kiss that's my ebook it just gives you some real simple ways to be able to get your journey to good health started see you later also also thank you for 100 subscribers oh yeah 100 subscribers <laughs> thank you so much i appreciate it i was supposed to say that see i have helpers okay bye bye bye